Viens la faire avec moi. Viens la faire avec moi. Vas-y, viens. Ok. I propose. Hello. I propose you to to make the interview with Vincent Cassel, who is daring to is is is. Allez, allez, viens. Ok. We did together because. Yet. We haven't done an interview together. together, so you'll have two for once. Ah, amazing! For the same price, oh, for the same so price. Cool. The, two big, the, two big, the two big no's of the cast. Hi guys, lovely to speak to you both. Um, congratulations on this fantastic new series. So perhaps Louis, I could start with you and say that you've stepped back into this role um, as King Louis again. So, and you play it with such nobility and grace. Uh, do you think the costumes have a big part in, in building and making that character easy for you to step into? The costume, not maybe more the wig, you know, because the wig <laughs> gave me like a strange also, you know, appearance. And, and then it was better to have this wig than the costume because the costume actually was a bit hot and I didn't like it specially. So I prefer to have this fantastic wig, but you know, more than the wig or the costume, I read a book, a biography of, of Louis XIII that as of, as French, we don't know very well because he was the father of Louis, Louis XIV, was, was much more famous and we know better his jobs and what we what we what what he did for the friends but he has like a tremendous life this with the 13 in real life in his real life i mean his mother didn't like him she preferred the youngest brother she he, she tried to kill him so he's got like a very tragic life so he is a tormented he was a tormented king and this is how i I um I I I performed uh, I performed him. You know you you are the ex partner of Milady and she is really at the forefront of this. So what was that like working with her? I mean she's such a tremendous character, um Eva Green. So what was that like building that kind of rapport and where that storyline went for you? this time well to work with evergreen is kind of easy really because we never talked about the scenes we never talk about cinema in general but she's so instinctive that what's going to happen between action and cut with uh, eva is uh, totally unpredictable you never know what's going to happen she's really wild you know she's very mysterious <laughs> in real life but when she's actually uh acting it everything becomes dangerous somehow uh, she has that quality. I always say that if I was an actress, I would like to be evergreen. Oh, that's really nice to hear. And obviously, this is the adaptation from the novel from Dumas, and there's been so many, but this is really different. Um, what do you think Martin Bibelon has kind of achieved um, with this? Because there's so many different layers, and it's so gritty, and it's, it's and the action, the fighting scenes, the scene with fire, and it's amazing. So what do you think he's done that's changed it? Do you know the only reason why I came on that film, it's because, you know, I know Vincent Cassel, we're now close together, but in, in one scene, he has to be on his knees in front of me. You know what I mean? And, and this is the only real real reason why I accepted to play the king, because I know it's going to be, it will be difficult for him, you know, to <laughs> play that scene. And it was actually very difficult. I mean, he hesitated, he tried to change the script, he went to see the director, are you sure that I, I have to be on my knees in front of Louis? And he said, you know, it's historical, you know, it's, it's the king. So finally he did it and it's for his humility, it was a, a great step, you know, it was as a friend, you know, I knew that it was good for him to play that scene with me. It's not true. It's actually <laughs> something I was waiting for. I wanted to kneel in front of King Louis because the real King Louis is actually Louis Garin as we all know in Paris. But to answer your question more precisely, uh, I think the fact that um, after 60 years of American and English adaptation of the of the book and uh, the book of Jima, the fact that it's made by French people in France with French actors really makes a difference. You know, it's la touche française. So uh, the idea was like to uh, to really make a movie that maybe sounds and looks more realistic than what has done what has been done before maybe maybe less romanticized and um and uh, the the reality aspect of uh, the fight scenes in in only one shots the fact that we're shooting in real french location where actually things happened in the past makes a difference for me you know uh it's the the little je ne sais quoi that makes it more french than anything else that has been made before Oh, thank you so much. I'm out of time. So thank you so much for speaking to me. Um, and it was really lovely to speak to you. Congratulations on the series. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.